So this day started out with us uh, steelheading because Tyson was up here earlier. He, he went, he ditched us for the weekend. They did, but <laughs> we saw some fish here. We're hyping it up, so we thought we'd come in today and we go and we catch them. But the fish have definitely moved upstream or downstream because of the cold. Yeah, they're no longer here. So uh, we're going to try to catch me a cutthroat. Because yeah. I've, uh, <laughs> the year, the year and a bit that I've been here, I haven't caught one, surprisingly. Yeah, we were sitting there talking and he drops the bomb on me that he's never caught a cutthroat. <laughs> so I, I was under the impression that everyone had caught a cutthroat. <laughs> so now we've switched gears and we're gonna go for a fish that's actually catchable. <laughs> it's about time! Yeah! Whee! What is it? Uh Let's go! <laughs> you done it! <laughs> Come on. First fish in <laughs> almost two months. <laughs> Thank God. He's a little baby. He's skinny. Yeah. He's not much free. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> We're gonna do a catch and cook, but he's a little small, and we don't have the confidence in ourselves to, to catch another one. Oh yeah, there he is. Some flash. It was like this big. It was like three inches. Oh, he's on. No, he's off. God damn it. There's some three-inch fury fighters in there, man. The wind makes all the difference. You are right. Look at that. Oop. Baby. Like st stock. Little baby. Here it comes up. Gorgeous little rainbow. Cromer. Cromer steelhead. Slightly under five pounds. Great species. Yep. Yep. Oh. Well, he's got a sea louse on him. Look at that. Sea lice. That's crazy. Time to let him go. Right off the right in front of the rocks. Oh my god, it's a keeper. Dude, it's a nice keeper. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. That's a Beautiful fish. Your first cutty. That's awesome. Here, we'll put it in the water. No, that thing's too pretty. Look at that. I have my camera. Damn. Look at that. Oh, he's so slippery. I can't even like grab onto him. Yeah. Just there. Look at all the sea lice on him. Yeah, then for everyone watching, this is Zach's first cutthroat. <laughs> ever, ever. He's never cut. Okay, there we go. Gotta make sure that he's. There's another hook in, there's another hook there's in another his mouth. Hook in him. There's another hook in his mouth. Can you get it? There's he inhaled it. It's inhaled, it's in his stomach. But there's another hook in his mouth. Because this is like, this is yeah, lying. I see it. And it's like, that is such a pretty fish. Do you got, um. See, I told you they're gluttons, man. But yeah, like that's right inside, like deep inside of his mouth. Got it? Like it's in his gut. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. I don't know. 
how to get that out. I know there's people in the back. Yeah, we'll just turn them around. There he goes. I got another one. <laughs> oh, nice little doe. Another sea run. She's covered in sea lice. Like, absolutely covered in sea lice. What I'm gonna do is hold her, put her in the water. Oh, she goes. She goes right beside you, Garvey. Yep. Got one? Oh, and there's another one in there. Try not to walk on that red. Okay, let's eat one. Yeah. I'll cook it up if you want to eat it with me. Oh, got a video, man. It's on like it's live. That's pretty fish. If we're gonna eat one, that's one that we could probably eat. If you're gonna cook it up at your place? Yeah. Look how pretty that is. So here it is guys, Garvey is I think sleeping, but I messaged him, we went and cooked up this beautiful trout that we caught yesterday, made up some fried potatoes and some carrots, just like so. Here's the fish, absolutely looks stunning. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try to eat this, I'm going to let you know how it tastes. So hey guys, we, uh, we just finished cooking this trout. Um, what we did was we just field dressed it, we uh, took the head off, took off all like the fins, left the, uh, the tail fin, and then, yeah, we gutted it, cleaned it for you guys. We couldn't put it in the video, unfortunately, just because of YouTube and all that, like, demonetization. We don't want to run into that already. And then, so then what we did was we took some salt and pepper and some oil. We rubbed that in the inside of the fish. Then we went and took a lemon, sliced that all up into about, like, two centimeter slices, threw that in there, and then we took some dill, chopped that up, and then some garlic, chopped those up. We threw that in the body, we uh, then took some oil, put it on the outside, salted it, and then we threw it in the oven for about 20 minutes. So we're back, I just pulled off the first piece here. Instant, like color is perfect. Like I have not seen a trout this color. Like it, when I first cut it open, it was really orange, like almost like a carrot orange. And I, I was not expecting that at all because like trout back home were like kind of red, but like the most like rich like trout that we get is kind of like lake trout. It's really oily, so it's not like this at all. So we're gonna bottoms up and see how it tastes. That's good. Yeah, you definitely taste the dill. You definitely like taste the lemon in there. And you kind of taste like the salt and pepper that's kind of put in there too. It's really good. Flip that around. Or you can just see how tasty this fish is. And that meat comes right off the bone. Oh yeah, hooked right up, look at this. Oh yeah, look at it go. Oh, it's going this way now. Jesus, look at this. Oh, it's peeling line. Steal it! Come on! Did you just see it like 